What's up all my fine fine girls? No pimple is with here again with another video. So today I am back with yet again another ranking video, okay? So I have been enjoying this, you guys, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this too. I do have a playlist ranking all like my various, all the videos that I have done. But today we are going to be ranking my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So I realized that I actually have quite a bit for me to do a video on. I was like, you know what? That would be fun. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you think my number one is going to be. What palette do you think my number one is going to be, okay? And in this ranking, I am including the Norvina palettes, so the minis and the large ones because I have all of them. And they're all part of Anastasia, so they're all being thrown in here. So keep that in mind. But anyways, guess down below what you think the number one palette is going to be in this ranking and now let's go ahead and get started okay so like i always say somebody has to be last and coming in dead last is going to be the norvina um volume the mini volume palette too so this is what this one looks like and i mean i think you guys can see why this one come, came in last like if you know my preferences like when it comes to my makeup like although there are some pretty shades in here don't get me wrong like i mean this is pretty this is pretty this is just not necessarily me like this isn't my full color story um granted i didn't buy this okay just okay because usually i be buying stuff that i'm like i don't really like it but i collect actually i did not buy this this time around so yes this was given to me by my job when i when i was working at sephora but anyway so yeah this is what this one looks like if, if i didn't get this in gratis i more than likely would never have owned this but yeah um it's just quite honestly it's just quite boring it really is quite boring and I feel like it's not something that I think to grab so that's why I came in last. Okay next spot is going to be the Norvina Mini Volume 1 and this is what this palette looks like. This one I actually did buy but at this point I bought it because it was like a really good deal. They had a discount and I was able to use my employee discount on top of that and then Sephora by the time I started doing like their $10 off like if you use 500 points so I think I got this for like probably like no more than eight dollars and this is like 20 something dollars originally so i was like i mean i'm i mean i might as well so i think I, that's why i just picked this one up but yet again i mean this is a pretty palette it's a nice like small pink and purple palette with like some peach here the shimmers are pretty i mean i feel like i can get like some decent looks out of this but yet again like when i'm thinking of doing like colorful looks i just don't think to grab this like i have um other palettes in my collection and within when it comes to anastasia beverly hills there are other palettes that um norvina herself has created that i like more than this that i would think to grab first over this so that's literally why this one i just don't really get much use out of this but in the event that i wanted to do like a pink look and i wanted something small to kind of just take with me this will come in handy but like when I'm at home and like I'm at like you know at my vanity or my desk or whatever doing makeup I have plenty of space so I'm gonna grab the big palettes I don't care like you know let's play so yes that's why that one came in at that spot all right next up on my list this is the Anna Be oh, I said Anna Beverly <laughs> this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette the sultry this one yet again I did not buy this this one I actually got for my job for free I won like a little competition um which I didn't even know that there was a competition but I won it so I was like oh that's cool I said that to say that if I didn't win this I would not own this because this is definitely not me I am not your cool tone girl okay I like my colors oh, oh hold on let me rephrase that I am not a cool tone girl when it comes to neutrals now purples blues oh yeah give it to me cool tone I love it but when it comes to like shades like this, this is not what I go for. But a lot of people love this palette and a lot of people wish they would bring it back. I mean, it is pretty overall. Like the shimmers in here look really nice, but this is just, I just don't think to grab this. This black looks beautiful though. This black looks really beautiful. Honestly, this palette actually really is nice. If I could just like, if I was like kind of blank this shade out, actually not that shade, really just this shade, I could do some damage with this because even like this, like I could do like a nice like all matte eye look. Actually, I might have to whip this out and create some something with this. This might make an appearance in a Bring It Back Thursday video somewhere down the line. Okay, so coming in next is going to be the Norvina Mini Pro Palette number three. This one, yet again, I got this one for free. <laughs> Honestly, low-key, my job kind of gave me a couple things for free. Mm. Low-key miss working for, for the free stuff. Like, I think this palette is pretty. This palette is like absolutely gorgeous. It does have one pressed glitter in here and that glitter looks so beautiful. These like cranberry shades, oh, gorgeous. Um, this one's just ranked a little bit lower because I mean like I keep saying there are other stuff that I like more from them and when I'm thinking of doing colors like this I have other palettes that come to mind first than this one so that's why this one is just ranked lower because I wouldn't think to grab this one first okay so up next up next 
this is the infamous, okay, the infamous subculture that, my goodness, when I say YouTube, I remember, I remember like it was yesterday. When I say the amount of negative reviews that this palette had, Alyssa Ashley started a whole thing. And I remember they should locate, like, what was it, Norvina Loki tried to come for her on Twitter. And it was just like, no, ma'am, your product is shitty. And then you, you guys, if, if you don't know, you could just research the history. But I remember Alyssa Ashley, her video started something. But anyways, this is what this one looks like. Oh, sorry, the brush fell out. Now, this one yet again, when I was working at Sephora, I got this for free, but I this was the reformulated, um, quote unquote, the reformulated version of this. So, I mean, the time that I did use this, I didn't really have any issues with this, but take away the fact that the formula was horrible and it turned a lot of people off from this palette. The color story on this palette is like one of the most beautiful color stories that I have ever seen. I love the grungy colors of this. I just don't really use this palette like that. So if I had to, like, obviously I'm ranking my video, my palettes, right? And if I had to think about the ones that I would wanna keep over the other ones, this can, this can go first. Like this can go before some of the other ones. So that's what this one is, but yes. Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture. Okay, now I remember this palette too, this palette. I, this was actually how I first got into buying her eyeshadow palettes because I, up until this point, I never bought any Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. I just had her singles. But this palette right here, people went crazy for it. And this is the Modern Renaissance. I will never forget, this was sold out like crazy. People, like, people will come into Sephora, do you guys have it in stock? Do you have it in stock? No, ma'am, we don't have it in stock. We don't have any more. Like, they went crazy for this palette. And I just did not understand why. Because when you look at it, this is such a boring palette. Like, what is so interesting about this? But, you know, at the time that this came out, this was, this was amazing, okay? Now we're so, we're used to seeing really crazy, beautiful, well-curated color stories. But at its time, this was something right here. So I went ahead and bought this. I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and buy this. Why not? You know, one of my coworkers talked me into getting it. I was like, all right, let me just go and buy it. You guys, when I say I was obsessed with this palette, I was obsessed with this palette, but primarily I was obsessed with this shade. Like when I say I love cranberry, burgundy, maroon type of shades, like I would literally use this and like this shade. When clients would come in to get their makeup done, if they were to, if they let me do free range, like, oh yeah, do what you wanna do. I'm telling you, I was whipping it out and I was pulling this. Like, I did so many cute looks on people with this palette. Ooh, I slayed so many faces back in the day. I hate doing the people makeup, man. Like, I hate it. Like, Sephora traumatized me. If you worked Sephora, let's share our story, okay? Because when I say, those, like, that's why I don't do other people's makeup anymore, is because of working there. Like, when I say the clients there traumatized the hell out of me, like, people are just too picky. But anyways, I digress. This palette, like, I used to do some cute looks on people with this. Like, ooh, I used to do halo eyes. I would take this, put it there. And then I'll take this right here. Mmm, oh, People will love their looks. I'm like, I mean, of course you do. <laughs> I did your makeup. <laughs> Let me humble myself. Anyways, so yeah, that's Modern Renaissance. I love that palette. As you guys see, mine is like beat up. Like, I really did get my use out of this. All right, so the next one I have here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. Wow, I didn't even like unpack the brush. I don't use our brushes, but this is what this one looks like. Oh my goodness, you guys. I mean, look at this, look at this. Like, can you see what I'm seeing? This is gorgeous, this is beautiful. <laughs> look at that pink. Look at that pink, oh my gosh. Actually, what made me, like when I, when I got this palette, I was so excited because I literally wanted to recreate a look that Jackie Ina did on her channel using this palette. And so when I got my hands on this, like, oh, I was like, oh, I'm getting this, I'm getting this at work for free. Okay, perfect. I literally, the first thing that I did was I went back to watch her video and I watched it to see which one she picked, like what colors to recreate that look. I need to go back and find it because when I say that was one, like, it was a beautiful look. And yes, I mean, this is stunning. So I love this palette. And I just think like the whole theme of it, like the sailor, like it's so pretty. Okay, so the next one that I have here, this one I did by myself, the next one I'm gonna show you guys. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills or Prison Palette. And this is what this one looks like. Let me take the brush out because they're, they're just falling. I mean, look at this story, color story, you guys. Like, isn't this just gorgeous? And y'all, look at that black. Just look at that black. Black and over there, just beautiful. If you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel, I love black eyeshadow, okay? I love pink shadow, I love purple shadow, and I really love black eyeshadow. Like, 
I would love to have a black in every one of my palettes like it's just perfect but anyways this is what this one looks like I think this color story is amazing it's beautiful I love that random like chartreuse that's like yeah, a chartreuse type of yellow there I think that is beautiful it's stunning I love the neutrals in this palette so I feel like with this one I'm able to really get like really dark looks really like soft looks and I can get really funky with this like yellow shade right here I love this warm orange color do, do y'all remember when we used to use shades like straight up orange at this point as our transition color my goodness we have come a long way in the beauty community Ooh, baby but anyways this is the prism palette all right moving on to the next pile that i have here next up in my ranking is going to be the anastasia beverly hills the norvina volume three okay i love the large norvina palettes i think they're stunning so this is what this one looks like this just screams fall pumpkin holiday spice latte like this is absolutely stunning i love the funky like greens in here oh my goodness i love this now the only reason why i feel like i rank this one just a tad bit lower is because I kind of can't really go deep with this. I was surprised because she released this one and the Norvina 2 and 1 at the same time. And the Norvina 1 and 2 both had a black in there. And I was surprised that she didn't put a black in here. I was like, oh, okay, I thought you were doing a whole little theme here. You know, like how Pat McGrath in her first three Mothership palette, she had a black in every one of them. Um, if this palette would have had like a black or at least instead of us having this shade and this shade, I wish one of them would have just been a little bit darker maybe this one if this one had been like a little bit of a deeper burgundy oh my goodness anyways so yeah that is this one this palette i love this yeah okay next up is the norvina volume four this came out summer of 2020 and i mean look at this you guys let's 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 take a look at this this is this is this is heaven. This is a beautiful palette. These glitters down here. I'm not even somebody that goes crazy for pressed glitters, but these glitters right here are just beautiful. The pinks in here, the it's like lavender, purple. Like this whole palette was so beautifully done. I love like this random like yellow in here. I like that she kind of gave some neutral shades in here. Like this right here is like a perfect little quad for anybody who wants like a soft look every day. So like you can kind of get it out of this palette, but you can still go crazy with like the pinks in here. This right here, beautiful. Okay, next up on my list is the Norvina Volume 5. And this is what this one looks like. This one right here is like, she, Norvina loves purple, okay? And I think she wanted us to know, I'm gonna give you guys another purple palette. And, and that's what she did right here. I love this palette. I love this dark brown in this corner right here. This palette does have one pressed glitter right here. I love all the different variations of purple. We have warmer purples here. We have cooler tone purples. Yet again, she kind of gave you another little quad up here of like just neutral so you can kind of keep it soft. I like the fact that there's a white in there. Now, I'm not somebody who actually uses white eyeshadow, but in the event that you wanted to tone down a shade or something, or you wanted to just kind of change up the saturation of a shade, white is perfect to be able to, you know, mix and match with that. So I like the fact that palettes, when they throw in a white there, that's how I would use it because I don't just grab white eyeshadow to put on my eyes it's not really my thing but that's how i would use white eyeshadow but anyways so yeah that's this one right here it's just an all purple palette pretty much with some neutrals and i think it's absolutely stunning so the next one that i have here is the anastasia beverly hills the Alyssa edwards palette so this is what this one looks like so some of these palettes definitely have a nice black eyeshadow in there but when you look at this does this not look like obsidian like midnight pitch black like this looks so dark and i love it I love it so much, y'all. Oh, my heart is happy. Okay, I think this is a beautiful palette and it breaks my heart when I see people decluttering this one. I'm like, why? Why? What did Alyssa ever do to you? I love this palette. I think this is so stunning. Um, I love like the neutral shades that she chose in here but also giving us some colors. And I like the fact that she gave us primary colors. Like we get that primary yellow get the white and the black so you can change the saturation you got that dark brown in there so you can do like a nice light look here and then if you want to deepen up you have that dark brown like this palette honestly I feel like when you look at it you think of color but if you really look at it closer if you take out let me let me hold this up if you take out the middle part of this palette do y'all see it's a nice neutral palette with some color in the middle so it's almost a little misleading but you kind of get the best of both worlds in here and then y'all pink is one of my favorite colors actually no pink is my favorite color when it comes to just in general look at 
this palette. Look at the hot pink, oh my gosh. I love this, I love it, I'm happy. Okay, so the next thing I have here is the Norvina Volume 2 palette, and this is what this one looks like. So this one right here is like the blue-green palette. Primarily more blue heavy, but it still has some greens in there. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Like, like I said, like this is definitely up my alley for sure. Like I like colors like this. I like to be able to be crazy, playful. I love this like shimmery hot pink here in the corner. I love obviously the black. I love the dark brown here. Um, the blues, I definitely love this one right here. These, I don't even have words. Like when I, when I just started making noise, like, it's because I have no words for it. It's just so divine it's so beautiful like there's no words to describe how i feel so all i can do is make noises okay and that is this like norvina volume 2 is that girl okay but anyways now we are in the top three okay so if you have not stopped to guess down below what my number one palette is you should do just that okay so coming in at the number three spot is going to be don't come for me because i know i know a lot of y'all love this palette it is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette, okay? Hear me out, hear me out. I love Jackie Ina and I love her palette, but when I'm thinking of the other two that I have in front of this palette, I will grab them over this one because I can complete the looks that I enjoy doing on myself more. But the reason why Jackie's palette honestly ranked higher than a lot of these other palettes was purely off of the fact that I like Jackie Ina and I do like the palette a lot, but color story wise, for what I like, some of these other palettes low-key probably would have ranked higher. But this is Auntie Jackie, okay? I couldn't do her like that. She had to be in the top three. And this is really just, I mean, Jackie had a moment with this palette, okay? This this, this was, she is that girl, okay? So she had to be up here. She had to be in, up in the rankings. And also, I mean, I do enjoy the, the palette, I do. But it's something that if I'm wanting more of a softer look that day, I would, I would grab this. But usually I like I like this. Y'all see what I have in my eyes? This is what I like to do normally. So I can't really achieve this dark, this depth with this palette. So I mean that's kind of why it's just not at the number one. But if it if this was like me ranking based off of like more neutral stuff, she might have been up there. Okay, so coming in at the number two spot is going to be the Amrezy palette. You guys, I love this palette. I got this for my birthday. Well, I bought it for myself for my birthday in 2020, right before the whole world shut down. Um, anyways, so this is what this one looks like. Let me take the brush out. And as you guys can see, oh, mine looks filthy. It is, it has been used, it has been loved. And the reason why this ranked a little bit higher is because of these shades right here. You guys know, I, I, I keep saying in the videos, in all my videos, I keep talking about how much I love black eyeshadow. And honest, um, not Anastasia, and Breezy gave us just that. I feel like this palette was so well done. I love these two shades right here, specifically this New Yorker shade or New York. I'm just saying New Yorker. I don't know how to say how it's spelled. Um, yes and then this shade right here dragon like literally when i got this palette i was literally doing the same look over and over and over again because i was so obsessed with this palette it was beautiful and then this barb shade <sighs> y'all this barb shade girl but yes so that's this one right here i love this palette and i'm able to really get crazy with this i can create really like um soft looks everyday looks really like bold looks evening looks i can do a lot with this palette so i absolutely love this one right here okay and, and by now you guys probably would have guessed what the number one is because you guys haven't seen it in the video and the number one spot is gonna have to go to my girl the norvina volume one okay i love 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 this palette i this palette has been in so many of like my rankings tops like i mean she has been there okay this truly is a favorite of mine i absolutely love this palette right here this is perfect like this is so me i love pinks like this i love hot pinks it has my my black in there and i love the formula on these palettes so of course this one was going to be in the number one spot i would definitely never want to ever just not have this palette in my collection so yes this is my number one is the norvina volume one oh it kind of matches my eyeshadow but anyways so yes that is my ranking on the anastasia beverly hills palettes with the Norvina palettes all included. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.